Wild Time here with another World of Warcraft video. Let's talk about the gear and the war within it and Warcraft in general, what it is, how you upgrade it, how you get it, just the basics of gearing. This is going to be focused primarily around PvE. Before we get into it though, don't forget to check out goldcapped.com. A lot of good gold making guides over there, as well as a members only Discord. There is a link in the description down below, as well as a discount code. If you'd like to support this channel, don't forget you can leave a super thanks or join the channel. If you've done any amount of questing, world quest, dungeons, any kind of thing where you get gear in the world of Warcraft, the war within, you will notice that you get some different kinds of items. Sure, you have your different colors like green right here, and then you've got your blue, and then you've got your purple. But what's more important is if you read the tooltip. So let's hover over this shield, for example. And if you look down one, two, three, four, fourth line down, the last yellow line right before you hit soulbound in the white writing, it says upgrade level adventure five out of eight, and the item level is 584. If you look over here, this is a veteran, level 2 of 8, level 587. And this over here is an adventure 1 of 8, veteran 2 of 8, adventure 1 of 8. So you can see there's some differences in this gear. So let's talk about what these are, how you can get the different kinds, how high you can upgrade them to, and then we'll talk about exactly how to upgrade them. So if we just pop over here to Wildhead, this is going to give us a overview of all the different kinds of gear and how to acquire it starting all the way at the top right here well at the bottom of the list but the top of the gear level is the mythic keystone 10 dungeons great vault uh, mythic difficulty raid bosses they're going to give you the highest gear possible it's going to be items levels 623 and you can level it up to 639 so that's from the mythic keystones the great vault uh from the keystones and the mythic raid bosses and then we have the heroic gear which is going to be 610 it can be leveled up to 626 and that comes from delve tier 7 to 11 in the great vault the mythic plus keystone 7 to 10 mythic plus keystone 3 to 9 dungeons great vault and heroic raid bosses then you have your champion gear which is 597 to 619 it comes from world bosses delve tier 7 to 11 delve tiers 4 to 6 great vault Mythic Difficulty Dungeons, Great Vault, Mythic Plus Keystone, 2 to 6 Dungeons, Normal Difficulty Raid Bosses. And then you have your Veteran, which is 584 to 610. And that comes from Renown Rewards, Weekly Events, Delve Tier 5 to 6, Delve Tiers 1 to 3, Great Vault, Heroic Difficulty Dungeons, Great Vault, Mythic Difficulty Dungeons, LFR Difficulty Bosses. And then you have your Adventurer, which is coming from World Quest, Weekly World Events, Delve Tiers 3 to 4, Heroic Difficulty Dungeons. And that's 571 up to 593. And then Explorer, which is the lowest, which is World Quest, Delve Tiers 1 to 2, Normal Dungeons. And that's from 558 to 580. So you could upgrade even the lowest gear right here, the Explorer. You could upgrade that all the way to 580. So that's basically how it works. My recommendation is that you focus somewhere in the veteran and the champion because these are very, uh, very, very doable, even if you're not doing any kind of real serious end game content. Now let's take a look at how to level them up. If you forget where you're going, you could always talk to a guard just like this, and you're going to go to item upgrades. And then what that's going to do is just mark them on the map for you. So we're right up here, this little flag. We're going to talk to this Drak here, so let's fly up here and talk to them. Now, if you haven't played WoW for a long time, or if you're just coming back, or you know, if you're new to the game, you're going to be noticing you're getting some things called Valor Stones, and also uh, Crests. And you may be wondering what those are for. Well, those are actually to upgrade your gear. So these are Valor Stones, and then you get your Weathered Harbinger Crest, and then you've got your Harbinger Crest. So those are what you're going to be using mainly to upgrade. There's also some items for crafting right here. Spark of Omens, which is going to make a 584 to 597 a piece of gear. And then you also have some PvP pieces of gear that uh, you can add into crafting. Some reagents that are going to help you uh, get an even higher item level uh, as well. So, but you're going to come right here to uh, 51.93, 42.17, talk to Vasgarn. 
Nope, just kidding. Not talking to Vaskarn. We're talking to Cuz Ulf. What up, Cuz Ulf? And then you're going to see this where you can drag your items and upgrade them. So it's going to highlight everything that you can upgrade. So here's what I currently have equipped. So you would drag this over, for example. And this tells me right here that it is an Explorer 5 to 8. And to upgrade it to the next level, I'm going to need to use 33 Valor Stones. And it's going to go from 567 to 571. You can do this individually. Going up each level. Or you can go all the way down here and upgrade it to all the way. And this is going to take it from 567 to 580, which is going to be the highest I can pump this up to. Now, if you get an item that's a little bit higher, you're going to have to use some other items. So right here, to get this item level up from 603 to 606, because it's champion, I'm going to have to use 104 Valor Stones and 15 Carved Harbinger Crest. And if I wanted to max it all the way out, which I can't even do, then I would have to spend these. Right? Mainly because I don't have any of these items right here. These are earned from... The heroic Nerub R Palace and Mythic Keystone Dungeons from 4 to 8 during the War Within. So those are available, but they're drops. So I've only got two right now. I would need 15 to get this up any higher. So the highest I could get this item is actually just going to be uh, the 4 of 8 instead of the 3 of 8. But that's how you do it. That's the basics of gearing. So you go in, do the highest content that you can, and then upgrade it. Uh, as you see fit. I would recommend upgrading weapons and trinkets first and then just going on your uh, tier pieces after that. So hope this helps somebody. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to sub to the channel. Have fun playing the game and until next time I'll catch you all later.